Right, so the plan today is to make some brass screws to go in the top of the Lister gearbox because the ones that came out of the Lister gearbox were rusty and pretty manky looking. And the guy I'm doing the gearbox for, well, he wanted some round slotted top brass bolts and I didn't have any with the right thread, but I did have this uh, off cut of brass bar from a previous job, which uh, I could use to make the new bolts with because they're smaller than this thread anyway. So uh, what I'm gonna do is cut that larger thread that you can see off and machine it to the right size and uh, make a new thread. So you can see that's the length of the thread that I need to make. That's one of the old bolts that came out of the gearbox. And uh, it's pretty much about the same as the thread that you can see here. So won't really have to do much except take that thread off down to the right size, which I'm going to do now. now you can see it's, it's running true enough for what I need. Take a little skim first and just make sure there's no sticky out bits that are going to cause any problems. Probably wasn't really necessary, but... So this cut will probably clear up the uh, remains of the old thread. Next thing I'm going to do, and uh, I don't think you can quite see it on the camera, but I'll set the vernier here to uh, 303 thousandths, which is the diameter I'm looking for, finish diameter. And then when I've got 303 thousandths, I will zero the micrometer. So I've done that now. Then when I put it onto the shaft, the reading I get will be the oversize that I still have to take off. So I think that's uh, about 40, 40 odd, 41 thousandths, about one millimeter. So if I wind in half a millimeter into the uh, cut off of each side, then I'll take about one millimeter off, which is what I'm looking for. But it's not too crucial because it's only a, a thread. I mean, a, a few thousandths deviation isn't going to cause too many problems. So this cut should be the final cut. Measure that final size is near enough to not have to worry about it, so I'm going to go with that and uh, I'm going to give it a quick bit of sandpaper and a file, emery cloth, um, just to clean it up anyway. So any discrepancies will be taken out, but as I said, it's going to have a thread cut on there, so that tiny, tiny little bit isn't going to make much of a difference. Next thing is just double checking the uh, length of the thread. But once again, the holes in the top of the gearbox are, they're not blind holes. There's plenty of space for the thread and it, they won't interfere with anything. They could be two inches. You know, it wouldn't make any difference at all. I'm just making them this size because that's the size the bolts came out. So um, once again, a millimeter or two wouldn't really harm it here, but uh, I'm setting it, you know, pretty much as near as and it's a bit awkward from the camera there, but I'm just, I've am just i set the vernier on the bolt and I'm just bringing the tool in so I can score the end of the uh, stud there. And then hopefully um, once I chop that off, that'll pretty much make it the right length.
yeah I mean it's, it's as good as it needs to be so next I'll uh, just use a little bit of emery cloth and clean that up because um, that'll become the head of the screw so it'll be easier to polish it while it's on the lathe and I'll just give that area a little clean Next is a file, just to put a uh, lead on there for the thread. When the die comes in, the thread will start a little bit easier on the end there. So this is the die. I'm using a die because it's a imperial thread and my lathe is metric, or this lathe is metric, and I've got a bit of a change gear issue with the other one. So turns out I couldn't cut the thread on the lathe, so I'll use this die, but in fairness, it's probably quicker and easier to do this, you know, with these small screws and brass anyway. So not really a problem. start off pushing it there with the tail stock just to make sure it starts and leads onto the stud straight. That's cutting a nice thread. I have left the die slightly loose because I would rather the thread be slightly, slightly large than to be too tightly cut. And if you pinch the die up tight, it will make the uh, threads cut ever so slightly tighter or smaller, giving a looser fit. So I'll leave mine looser, I get a tighter fit. And that's the threads cut. So essentially that's made now, I just need to cut that off to length and uh, I think I'm having about five millimeters on the head of the screw there so bring the cutoff tool in and um, trim that out don't really need as much tool sticking out as this but I figured it's such a small cut it's not really going to do any harm And that's one made. Uh, I say one made. I do need to make four, but uh, I'll save the process because it's the same thing three times again. But I, I assure you, I did make four. The next thing to do is to uh, mill the slots into the top of them. So here's the four straight off the lathe, still each with a pip in the top and uh, I leave that pip I, don't, I mean I say I leave it I, d I don't mind it being there because when I put the bolts into the V block on the mill which I'm doing now it just gives me something to easily line the cutter up with so once I put the first one in and line the cutter up with the pip on the top and make sure it cuts the pip clean away um, I know I'm, I'm pretty much in the middle or near as damn it in the middle for this job just saves messing about with uh, centering so I, I don't know what size this milling cutter is I just picked one out of my selection that looked about an appropriate size for the slot and uh, as I say I lined it up with a pick and now it's just a case of winding it backwards or forwards a few times I'll not take a heavy cut with it because it's a very very small cutter and uh, I could see it flexing when I was trying to take a heavier cut so small cuts it is. Nice and simple though. And repeatable because when I put the next one in to do the, you know, I've got obviously four to do, 
I just need to undo that thumb screw, slide that one out, pop the next one in and they're done. That's pretty much the finished screw. The only thing I will do is run a file just over the top of it and just uh, clean it up slightly, take the raggy edges off. Um, but that's essentially ready. So here I'm just trial fitting them, making sure they all wind into the the uh, gearbox okay or the gearbox cover. At the moment there's no gasket um, and the gearbox has still got no oil or anything like that. So I mean this is just a trial fit. But they will have probably a, a washer. I may turn a couple of brass washers to go underneath them if I don't have any that are the right size. Uh, just to spread the load out a little bit, but uh, they look a lot smarter than the rusty old ones given that the gearbox was looking so clean and with the other parts on the being brass it seemed appropriate to do it that way so that's the finished result.